<laughs> okay, I feel like I'm on the news or something. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for chapter one for Brave New World, um, oh, well, I guess I'll go first. Um, so it starts off with someone talking about the Central London Hatchery and Conditioning Center. Um, and it kind of gives a description of what it looks like and what they do in there. Yeah. Um, and to me, like when it talked about uh, the the goose flesh and kind of like a, I guess it was a body on I think it was a gurney or something. I don't know. Um, it just kind of gives a description of. Them, I don't know. It seemed like they were creating humans or something. Yeah, and that's I was just like, that's weird. Kind of what they were doing. Yeah, because yeah. in the following pages, they started talking about how they have um, they have saved um, racks of uh, oh racks upon racks of numbered test tubes. Yeah, and those test tubes like included um, eggs, I guess. Yeah, and it also says like these are the incubators, and you know, when yeah. I think of incubators, I think of babies because you know, like when they're born, they're in the incubators. But uh, yeah, I thought about that. Um, and what what really was like interesting was when they started talking about I can't even say the word the. Um, the con of the species, whatever that word is, the, yeah. that process it was actually pretty cool. Yeah, um, not that just one, but it's uh, like, really, yeah, like you have because they're able to create with one egg, they're able to create like 96, yeah, up to 96, which is crazy because you'll have a family siblings. Yeah, <laughs> and it says the standard men and women in uniform batches, batches, the whole of a small factory staff with the products of a single. Whatever that word is, egg. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, that's doable, like, to be honest. That might just happen in the they future. They also talked about another process, but I don't know. I don't oh, know the, um, the predestination. Yeah, I started with the P. I guess it's just on page, page 10. The predestinators. But yeah, but this story already it starts off with, um, with that they have a model too, just like 1984, mm-hmm. the community identity and stability. Yeah. And this guy was like, I don't know if he's like how the like, activity mm-hmm. we're comparing both of them. I don't know if this is like supposed to. Trash. Yeah, it it seems like it. Yeah, because um, they're literally completely two different stories. Because I mean, like sexual relations in 1984, where you had to do that stuff. Yeah, and this and one this you one just make like, it, and it's just like a free land kind of thing. And um, towards the end, they said that like the babies are born. Mm-hmm. They're destined to do something. Like they're, yeah. they're already, um, they're considered on what, what they're gonna be doing. And they they call them um, alphas or or uh, epsilons. Yeah, I don't really know what that means. Me neither. I'm guessing like one's better than the other. Yeah. And I like how the chapter ends talking about. Uh, well, like a little excerpt says, but the director had looked at his watch. Ten to three, he said. No time for intellectual words. I'm afraid we must go on to the nurseries before the children have finished their afternoon sleep. All that, and it kind of made me think, like, why? Yeah. Don't they want intellectual words? And I, I know one of the questions on there were. Um, uh, the last question was talking about what they say. He's like, I think it was like, why? Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, why does the hatchery purposely keep some embryos from developing high intelligence? I was thinking probably because they don't want them to be outsmarted, because I'm pretty sure yeah. they know what they're doing is wrong. And having intellectual uh, minds, you know, intellectual people are kind of like alike. And so they'll think of ways, you know, why is this happening? And I think that, that kind of started, you know, the interest in the book for me, knowing like, uh, what might happen if somebody finds out about that? But I found it weird how they're just able to know like, right away, like, oh, this is an intellectual. Yeah, like, how do you know? it's crazy. Like they have a, like a whole. But then again, because they're the ones making it. Yeah. Oh, I said embryo. I meant embryo. Yeah. Um. The guy that was, I guess, being turned, Mr. Foster. Who is that? Uh, like he was the one looking at everything. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it's the teacher because um, I keep saying his name towards the end. I know it's not the director because they're talking to each other. Um, sure. Um, it kind of starts with them in on page eight. Yeah, I think he's just like a record keeper. Yeah, he was there. Ask them about. The, rec- the record for a single over. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's probably someone it. that works there. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Is there anything, anything else you'd like to say? How do you say this word? Metri, Mitri, Mitri, Mitre. Because I know they mentioned that many times in mm-hmm. the rectum. So I'm just guessing that's like the way they identify mm-hmm. the eggs. Hmm. Well, that's it. Yes, that's all I had written down. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, well, thank you for watching our show. Uh, we'll be back. Who knows when? <laughs> thank you.